Now, this is why I've constantly said through the years, turn on your analyzer for just a minute or two a day, get comfortable with it, get used to it, and get used to what's floating around your network. So here I am at my desk, just going to start a capture. Uh, I didn't plan anything. Just go to my docking station right here, click, click, and, and wham. These two guys yapping away. Neither of them are me. Neither. Um, this is the HP. This, I think it's a camera. But I'm on a switch. I shouldn't see all this. These are unicast packets, which means there's flooding going on my network right now, which is quite odd. So I've got to look into that. But I thought I would just uh, share with you what I'll find out as I go along. So I logged into the switch and I'm doing a search for the MAC address. There's 228A, right? That's the HP one. It came up just fine. And then the camera is FB4C. And FB4C, nothing. But I can get on it. So something weird's going on. These, uh, all these cameras have wired and Wi-Fi. See that? So I'm wondering if it had a problem on the wired side and it flipped onto the Wi-Fi side. So what I'm going to do is simply go to system here. I'm going to do what we always do with equipment. I'm going to give it a good old reboot. Uh, reboot. Go. And I'll let you know what happens. So I rebooted the camera and now I can see both MAC addresses. See that? So again, the uh, 8A is the HP and the 4C is the camera. So I've rebooted the camera and now I've got MAC entries in there and if I hit start capture I'm going to just close this guy down and I shouldn't see yeah I don't see that anymore isn't that interesting so always check your stuff out and now I know why these cameras have this um, automatic uh, maintenance mode where you can reboot it every day at midnight I was wondering what that was all about so they must know there's something flaky once in a while and I'm gonna definitely set that up now